Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I discovered a new thing today. Um, essentially, you can get into parallel worlds from the start of every run by uh, mining behind this little formation right here. So, this formation generates the same in every level. And uh, essentially what you do is uh, you take advantage of the fact that the the cursed damaged aura does not exist um, in a 12 by 12 area at the chunk borders and it's really simple and easy to do all right you only need two items and you need the essence of earth to get over there so essentially what you do is you take the uh, essence of earth and then you take it to the essence eater that's either in the snowy wastes or the desert temple area and what you do from there is you get this uh thing called the um the tanner key v right it's uh essentially like an earth stone and what this allows you to do to uh, is to convert anything into um soil and soil is a really like soft thing so you can easily cut through it with the paha sima. so what you need now is the paha soma which is essentially um i'm probably horribly mispronouncing that but essentially what it is it's like an eyeball um let me see if i can get it here the paha soma spawns to the left of the world tree every time so that's where you get that all right so i got the paha soma uh here so uh as you can see i converted the stuff to soil by accident so uh what you want to do now is you want to go to um this spot right here where the little circle thing is and this is the same in every run, right? It's always going to be there. Um, and it's also the same in your world as it is in mine. So the seed doesn't change. So you, you should always find it. Um, it's pretty easy to find. You just go to the left side of the map. And also put up an illustration uh, where you can do it on the right side of the map as well. Because it's also the same over there. But uh, this is just like easy to see. You can really easily see the formation here. So what you need to do next is you need to dig a hole and I'll put a, up another picture for this. You can go behind here essentially and find the um, the cursed rock. And so what's special about that part of the cursed rock is that it won't damage you in any way shape or form unless you like touch the physical material. The aura that that's supposed to be there doesn't damage you. So you essentially do this. You have to dig this right and then uh for the sake of the video i'm gonna make myself invincible i, I suggest you uh install conjure um to make this easier and practice it first because if you don't know what you're doing uh you're gonna you're gonna like probably die in the process so uh as practice you should just do it in conjure first uh learn to do it in conjure because um it can be quite tough I, I died like many times like doing this like normally and so what you want to do is just practice it first and know what to do and then you just uh, do it in a real run um, and once you, you can do it in a real run it becomes way easier to do it later on because um, you know ex the exact steps and make sure you're aligned the whole time because it's only like 12 pixels wide so it's pretty easy to mess up something else you can do to make it easier to see like if you're aligned or not is you can use this grid uh in conjure and so you can see here that's where i d dug the hole so it should be like right here unless i got it wrong Okay, so I made it to the end here, and so you can see I actually dug a bit high. Um, but what you want to do is you want to actually be down here. So where this little dot is, um, this will spawn in every run. Um, the seed is always the same. So um, I'm going to check the map real quick just to make sure that I'm uh, looking in the right place. Yeah, yeah, so that's there in every run. Um, so you basically just want to make sure that you're down here so i'm going to show you real quick um that it doesn't damage you um 
by replacing the cursed rock so you want to make sure you're not st stepping on any cursed rock so um, I'm gonna replace it with like gold or something like this and then I'm gonna go step on it and I I'm getting damaged right there see that um, so you want to be like it's pixel perfect almost so you have to be really careful but any any little uh, you can step inside this 2x2 two two grid right here and you'll be perfectly fine. But any lower or lo any higher, you'll get damaged. So you have to be really, like, really careful. Uh, otherwise you're gonna die, like, immediately. So... But you can get a little bit of leeway, you see that? Right there. Um... I'm gonna remove a little bit of this. see how high I can get okay and you, yeah you just want to practice it mainly because um, I can see I can see you dying pretty easily if you're not careful okay so you want to dig exactly right here through the cursed rock right where you see the above like above this little thing and right here where this little dot this one pixel is and I'll put up an illustration for the west side equivalent so uh, the opposite side of the map as well so now you're uh, through here right and so you have to dig all the way through uh, through this little 2x2 two two and not die so uh, I'm gonna heal myself so that a little annoying overlay goes, wa goes away give myself a little bit of health too alright I have a bunch of health um, so we just do this and you want to make sure all the cursed rock is gone so you don't step on it. Ow. So yeah, it's a little it's a little hard, um, but this grid helps a little bit. And make sure you don't mess this up because you're probably gonna have to like regenerate the world or something, or go up to a higher chunk border if you have enough health to tank it. So yeah, as you can see here, I'm not getting damaged, and I'm completely in the aura where you would get damaged. Uh, like, I can see myself doing this when I don't get Ambrosia. Like, I would say this is the most useful for when you don't get Ambrosia at the start of the run. Uh, or like, not at the start of the run, like, on like, the second floor. I might get damaged here. No, I'm good. So, as you can see, it's like really doable, you just have to be really careful, you maintain the same elevation. Be careful when going back too, because soil likes to fall down. So, it might destroy your path a little bit. And be careful with the eye too, because it can damage you if you're not, like, safe with it. There we are, we're on the other side now. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's how you do it, um, you just have to be really careful. Uh, I'm I'm not that good at this yet. Um, as you can see, I get damaged when I walk through here and stuff like that. So uh, I took around let's see, 200 damage uh, while doing that. So uh, get around 300 HP uh, just to be safe, and um, then do this uh, because you'll take a lot of damage unless you're really good at like aligning stuff i'm not that good uh I, I kept on like messing it up and like you have to have a little bit of patience you have to walk um all the way to the right side of the world you have to grab the the pasilma uh but other than that like this is this is all pretty easy i, I just recommend you have some good stuff before you get in here and um once you do all that, you should be all set. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.